Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper and I just wanted to share this Max for Live device with you guys. It's real quick. This isn't a tutorial or anything like that, but Isotonic Studios just released this multi-analyzer for free and it's really, really useful and sleek AF. Uh, what it does is overlays the spectrum from up to four different tracks in one spectrum analyzer. So this layout right here, this is the device. This layout is very similar to Ableton Live's spectrum. But what we can do now is this is the current track, the track that it's on. This is the massive track. But I can now put other spectrums inside of here and they'll be color coded and I can see how the different frequency spectrums are interplaying with one another in real time. So let me show you what I mean. So something like this is really, really useful because if you look right here, I can actually see that they these have room for one another because of where these peaks are. There's plenty of space and that freeze function is really handy too. So it's really, really useful utility to have and it's free. So I'm going to leave a link to it in the blog. I highly suggest you go download it. And just real quick, some of the features, it's up to four different tracks here. Uh, you can freeze at any moment in time. You can also choose the line thickness. It looks like, as well as gets thin, it kind of adjusts the opacity as well. We can adjust the smoothness of the lines as well. So what this appears to be is it takes a larger average of time and the lower the value, the quicker the sample or average time will be. And then we have frames and this is how quickly the frame rate will be updated. So using those two together, the smooth and the frames will give you some pretty interesting results and give you a lot slower look at what's happening if you're, or a lot quicker look if that's what you're looking for. And then we also have uh, logarithmic or linear. So a super useful tool, it's free, go download it, links on the blog, big up to Isotope and the maker of this plugin, I've, it's Matt, I think, Matt something, I apologize for not remembering your name right now, but I just wanted to make this video real quick for the people who follow me on YouTube or whatever to put you onto this advice because it's super dope. Anyway, go grab it, I'll see you next time, peace.